Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. 2019 doesn't simply mark the end of a tennis year. It also marks the end of quite a tennis decade. So many things have happened over the last 10 years. I mean, think about it. When the decade started, Bianca Andreescu was only nine years old. We have seen a lot of great tennis, so we thought we would highlight the top WTA moments of the decade. We've got plenty of incredible moments, but just like with our picks for the ATP, we work hard to narrow down a very long list of amazing stuff. We did our best, but if we left something off that you think should be included, feel free to let us know. And with that, let's celebrate the incredible decade of tennis, starting with Serena Williams, winning her 23rd major. Serena Williams passed Steffi Graf for the all-time major singles open era major titles. That victory represented what we all knew and believed even before she claimed that 2017 Aussie Open, Serena is the GOAT. What about Bianca Andreescu winning the US Open on her debut in the main draw? Nobody had ever done it before, but this year in New York, Bianca Andreescu got it done like a boss. The Canadian's rise and stunning title run in New York is one of the most remarkable moments of the last decade. And then there's Naomi Osaka, reaching number one. By winning the 2019 Australian Open title, Osaka didn't just become the second Asian to claim two major titles. She became the first Asian-born player, male or female, to claim the number one ranking. An historical achievement for Osaka, and it's just the beginning. Maria Sharapova's drug ban. She's won two Roland Garros titles in this last decade, five Grand Slam titles in all, but the biggest story for Sharapova, unfortunately, happened off the court, when in 2016 she was hit with a 15-month drug ban that rocked tennis. Four years later, we are still waiting for the legendary Russian to reclaim her best form. Next up, we have Lina winning Roland Garros. The ultimate tennis trailblazer became Asia's first ever Grand Slam winner in Paris in 2011 when she defeated Francesca Schiavone for that title. Think it was a big deal? The match was watched by 330 million viewers worldwide. And then there's Angelique Kerber's win in Australia. She was one of the top players of the decade and the ball officially got rolling for the German when she knocked off Serena Williams in the 2016 Australian Open final. The match also appears to have been significant for Serena Williams because it snapped her eight-match winning streak in Grand Slam finals, and she has lost six of eight major finals since then. And then the moment for Simona Halep, winning her first major in Paris. Finally, Simona Halep was a great player that just couldn't be great when it seemed to matter the most, until 2018, when she stormed back from a set and a breakdown to claim the Roland Garros title and creating what was perhaps the emotional high point of the decade for women's tennis. Next up, we go back to Serena Williams becoming a mom. She won the 2017 Australian Open 20 weeks pregnant. Now that's just crazy, and it reminds us that Serena is amazing. Her pregnancy and the birth of Olympia have had an impact. Serena hasn't won a final since January of 2017, and the door has opened for a lot of players to step up to the Grand Slam podium. Next up, the Czech Fed Cup juggernaut. Fed Cup format's gonna be changing in 2020, and that makes this a good time to celebrate a brilliant decade of international tennis for the Czech Republic. Led by Petra Kvitova, who also claimed two Wimbledon titles in this last decade, this band of talented players won six titles in an eight-year span. Not since the Americans won seven straight Fed Cup titles in the 70s has the Fed Cup been dominated as impressively. Now for the Italians, Panetta and Vinci in an all-Italian U.S. Open final. It was supposed to be about Serena Williams and the calendar slam in New York in 2015. But Roberta Vinci stole the show there and then had to face off against her friend and fellow Italian player Flavia Panetta. Flavia won in the final and then promptly announced her retirement. Some great moments in women's tennis, and we know there's a lot more, so feel free to sound off in the comment section. We'll see you next time.